let us reiterate that the truth is what has been laid before the court. The truth is what has been gazetted. That Nana Dodanko Kufuado, when you add the 38,000 plus polling stations, or you add the 275 constituencies, or you add the 16 regions, the truth is that Nana Dodanko Kufuado crossed with over 500,000 votes as a margin. It is the petitioner who seeks to challenge this truth, but has not brought his truth to court. Whatever counter evidence that he may provide to cause even the chair of the first respondent to get into the box, I'm not sure you have seen it here. But today they are admitting before you that they are willing to explore other avenues of accountability. Remember, about two weeks ago, we've been arguing before you that if you want accountability, generally, you can come to parliament. The parliamentary committees of inquiry that can look into whatever matter you bring. And there's a 137, 137 plus one parliament. You can come to parliament. You can come under the Right to Information Act, asking for some particular information. If it's judicial review that you want, that you think that the EC has not done something specific and the courts must bring its power to bear on it, the high courts are there for judicial review. So it is interesting that at the end of the case, when we are all wondering where the evidence that they were supposed to provide to back their case is, they are now opening up to you that they are willing to uh, consider other um, platforms of accountability. We'll see which ones they choose, what case they make, and if there's any um, uh, adverse arguments that need to be made there, we'll respond accordingly.